right now and we are going to dive in to the first feature inside of the brand new tier that we're launching today called scale it's a quick backdrop you know earlier today and you know, i talked about how software packages are trying to be overly clever with how they're doing everything but at the end of the day at jetpack workflow we're saying what do you need to get done what are your goals and how do we align our company to help you be successful so we're setting up our software packages to now have something called organized. It's the product we have today. It's our foundational product. Many, you know, many of you listening today are using it, getting great results from it. Today, we're launching a new feature in a new tier called Scale. So it's Scale Beta. It will go out today. And today's feature I'm going to show you is all about helping you manage the upcoming work for your team. Now, the question is, what's you know, you talked about team management, David, you said team management like seven times today, 10 times today, you know, a whole panel on team management. What's wrong with, with managing a team? Like, why is there so much pain here? Well, we did some research and we realized that the average person is using 13 different methods to control and manage their time and their team's time. We saw that the average uh, manager spends three hours a day on interruptions. You know, trying to reconfigure, reset up the team structure, figuring out what everybody's doing. An average day, there are also 17 meet million meetings in America. And it's been deemed as much as 30% are unnecessary. These meetings are like check-in meetings to ask, what are you working on? Are you taking on too much work? Are you taking on too little work? Can we move this to somebody else? You know, on top of that, when we did our own insight uh, survey earlier this year, we learned some interesting benchmarks. You know, average manager has four direct reports. We learned that 33% of managers don't have a set planning cadence. And we talked a little bit earlier today in the panel, we heard from firm owners, they do, they do the monthly huddle or the weekly huddles, they check in, they check in monthly, they check in weekly, they check in bi-weekly, but still a third don't have a set planning cadence. And even earlier on with Krishna, we were talking about designing your ideal life structure. Well, there's the same thing that applies to your firm, but a third don't have that structure in place today. Uh, we saw that, you know, even though they don't have a set planning cadence, 35% check daily, and we saw 50% of managers are spending 10 plus hours a week uh, managing, which is, which is a lot of time. And maybe you have a lot of direct reports, but from our feedback, people are just feeling like they're spending more and more time trying to figure out what their team is doing. And it's becoming less and less effective to figure out what they're doing. So in our research, we realized there's three critical questions that every manager must be able to answer very quickly to, at a bare minimum, be an effective manager. The first question is, what's due, right? Is it on track? Is it at risk? Is it behind? What's the priority? Are we getting that done? What's done? So was it done on time? Was it done under budget? And what's upcoming? Do I have the right people? Can they take on the work? Do I need to reassign it? Do I need to move it? Do I need to change anything about the schedule? So if you're ever feeling overwhelmed as a manager, you could say, okay, I just need to know what's due, what's done, and what's upcoming. You know, Amanda mentioned it earlier, Ruben mentioned it earlier, Jody mentioned it earlier. They just, you know, when they're thinking about whether it's promotion or, or offboarding a new team member or onboarding a new team member, they need to look at these questions. What's due, what's done, what's upcoming? And when we looked at Jetpack Workflow, the product, we realized that there's some great utility in what's due. Of course, we can always add more and we're thinking about more, but there's some great utility in here. We realized that there's some utility in what's done, but we're missing what's upcoming. And that is the crux of the plan feature, which I'm going to show you. And the reason we're so excited about it is like, because my goodness, when people start putting these structures in place, you could see outstanding results. Like Gianna and Andrew mentioned, they went from spending 35% of their admin time to 15% of their, uh, uh, 30, 35% of their time on admin work, only 15%, because they're able to audit what they're working on. They're able to see what's upcoming and drive efficiencies in their firm. Okay. so. Who's ready for a demo? Type into the chat right now. Demo, 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 demo. I'm going to open up Jetpack Workflow. Type into here. I'm going to show you this brand new feature inside of Jetpack Workflow. I need to make sure everybody's excited that you're still up at 2.06 p.m. Demo, demo, demo. Awesome. I love it. Okay, cool. So let me move around the little Zoom bar here. So you're all familiar with jobs and Jetpack Workflow. This is what jobs look like. You know, as of today, there's a new tab called Plan. Okay, we're gonna, I'm going to tell you how to access it in a little bit, but it's a brand new tab called Plan. And Plan, the goal with Plan is to give you one view where you can view all the upcoming tasks for your team, as well as rearrange them, reassign them, 
and move them around. So it's pain-free planning inside of your firm. And nobody is doing this quite like I think we are at Jetpack Workflow. So here is the brand new plan view. You should see it right now. Now, I'm going to walk through this. I'm going to take some time to walk through this. But uh, here it is at a high level. In a matter of seconds, you can get a quick breakdown of exactly how your team is progressing through the week and who's trending off track, who's trending on track. You can click in and do a deep dive into exactly what they've completed, not completed, and potentially even why. So let's go through this. So you have your team card over here. This is the workload for the week. Okay, I can see every team member here. I can see the total number of tasks they've been assigned, and I can see the progress they have towards those tasks. Right now, I have Bill highlighted, 60 tasks due, is 35 complete. I can click through each and every team member here, see exactly what's on their plate, exactly what they should be working on. I can even click into unassign, right? I could see the breakdown right here. Now, this is what's really neat about this view. Let's say I open up unassign. Now, we're a believer if it's unassigned, nobody's going to do it. Nobody has responsibility for it. How are you going to track? How are you going to audit it, right? Now, here's the amazing thing. If I'm looking at this and this is my week, I'm going to take these unassigned tasks and I need to drop them into somebody else's bucket right away or else they're not going to get done. I see that James has zero tasks, right? I see that David only has four or three, right? So what I could do right here is, let's say I could grab this task card. I'm going to send that over to James. Looks like he could take on some more work. You know, it's Thursday afternoon. He's coming into the firm tomorrow. I'm going to give them all four of these tasks. You can drag and drop these tags to reassign it out. Okay, so every time you see this, you can reassign cards out. Now, let's say I open up David's account here. It looks like we have some tasks on his plate. So this is everything for David Jetpack that's due this week. I can see he's completed this one. I can see this one's overdue. Now, maybe we need to get it done and we need to move it to Thursday or we need to move it to Friday. Maybe something came up. I don't know, it's 2020. Everything comes up in 2020. We need to bump this out a week. I can drag and drop this to the following week. So if you need to quickly reassign it, just drop it to the next week, clear it off. You can see this is being updated over here, right? So you can reassign a task to somebody, just dragging, dropping to their name. You can also reassign the date by dropping it to next week. Now, how cool is that, right? I think this is probably the quickest, fastest way to plan and move work around for your team, but that's not all. So if I open up Bill's account, right? I see that he's getting a lot of work done and I could quickly scroll through it, see exactly what he's missing or not missing. I could do that for Bill. I could do that for Bob. Now, what's really neat is I see that Bob has 16 tasks he, need to knock, he needs to knock out this week. I see he's completed 15. So I'm going to come into here, and I'm really happy that Bob's completed all these steps. It's Thursday afternoon. We're still missing one. Why are we missing that job? There we go, waiting on client. For firms that are using labels inside of their account, this gives you an instant update into why things are getting stuck across your team. You know, if you're having one-on-ones every week or bi-weekly or monthly, I would open up this view. If I'm meeting with Bob on Friday morning to make to check in on how the week's going, open this up. I'm going to click here and say, Bob, what can we do to follow up with Shark- Sharpie Inc. to make sure we get the SBA loan advisory done? Okay. What have we done? Can we call him? Can we text him? What do we need to do to get this off? Now, if we can't get it done, maybe this client went on vacation. Who knows? Again, I can bump this out to the following week. But the point here is that you don't need to uh, jump around to different views to understand what's on your team's plate, what they're working on, and what they need to be working on. And here's another neat thing about this view. There's so many different ways you can use this view, by the way. I think the trend analysis over here is amazing. I think the audit trail of knowing exactly what your team's doing and where they're stuck is amazing. I can also come into here and say, hey, how's next week look? Let me just click into the calendar. Great. Sarah doesn't have anything. Looks like you know James has a, has a larger week this week. Bill and uh, the bills, you know, I guess as we call them, might have a ton. We have two unassigned. We might need to drop that out. So I could start forecasting into the future, okay, and seeing what's going on. Now, you're going to notice some interesting things. If a task is on a magic job, we're going to let you know. We're also going to alert you that if you drop a task and it exceeds the dead, the, the deadline of the job, we'll let you know. So I just tried to drag that task two weeks out. And the system is going to tell me, hey, you're dragging it two weeks out, but that task is going to land after the job date. Do you still want to proceed? Like, oh, no, I didn't realize we need to get it out the door that quickly. Okay, maybe I'll bump it to Friday or what have you. So this is a highly dynamic view where you can move things around very, very quickly. If the task exceeds the job, we're going to give you an alert. If it has a dependency, we're going to tell you. 
if it has a label, we'll make it show up for you and we'll, we'll show it to you in that task list, right? You can drag and drop, reassign everything from this single view. Now, again, I think bare minimum, the huge power here is let's say you're sitting down with your team, open this up and you have a team pulse instantly of what they're doing and how they're progressing. You know, uh, we talked about the customer council early. So we, we did give this uh, access to a couple of our customer council members. And it was really amazing to see that you could open this up, click on somebody's name and know exactly how their week's going, right? And again, you could use this for a one-on-one -on -one walkthrough every week. You could check in on Friday or what we recommend is every Friday host your planning session. Friday afternoon, reconcile for your team and your tasks and what they need to get done. Okay, so you can come into here if things need to be moved into the future, if they forgot to check them off, <laughs> you know, these things happen. This is a great time to view it. So I know there's a lot of chat coming in. So what's everybody think about this so far? Um, Trisha said, great choice in the planning feature. Michael said, super cool. And he said, so awesome. Somebody says, plan doesn't show on ours. I'll tell you why here in a second. <laughs> it is part of the new tier, but we, we want to make sure. Uh, somebody said, great update. Christine said, Rick says, really love this. Really love this. Awesome. Cool. And there's so much you can dive into here. Again, you can even clean up overdue. You can look at overdue you can look next week, two weeks. All right. And this is, this is the first feature in our brand new tier. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back into the slides because I see some people asking about like, well, how can I, how can I access it? How can I play around with this? So let's go ahead. Um, oh, it looks like we had a QA. and a can can you create a task from here? I think is the question. So no, you'd have to go into, into the job to create a task. Great question. Uh, but you can move and reassign tasks. So if a team member's out, they have an afternoon off, you know, you can change it right here. And assuming this doesn't have that magic star next to it, you can move and reassign this and it's not gonna impact future recurrences at your firm. So if you need to quickly reassign or move tasks, it won't impact future recurrences as long as it doesn't have that gold star there. All right, great questions. So I'm gonna open up the deck. I'm getting a lot of questions about accessing um, the features. So let's quickly walk through that. So where are we now? So like I said, we have this tier called Organize. We're now taking our core platform called Jetpack Workflow and we're turning over, so we're calling that Organize essentially. And that's the one everybody's using. You have unlimited jobs, templates and clients. You have this amazing Zapier integration. You have reporting through the, things like the progress report. You have team collaboration. You have amazing customer support and service and training. Uh, in the future, we could have a lead plan that helps you manage those leaders. And today we go live with scale. And, and that launches today, this brand new tier. The feature you just saw is the first feature in the brand new tier that we're bringing out into market. And for people that are on here today and for our community, we do have a special offer for you all. So today, as it stands, you go to our pricing page, or probably even later today, uh, we have our organized package. So you go to our pricing today, and it's either $45 month to month, or it's $36 a month for the year. Now, scale beta is coming out. It will be live today. And as we continue to build out the platform, you're going to see prices in this tier show up at $60 a month month to month or $50 a month for the year. All right. So when we, when we really roll this out further into the market, you're going to see these prices, but we asked ourselves this question. Okay. Scale. We know, we know that the utility we're going to buy at the scale is going to be worth at least, I mean, it's going to be worth $600 a month, but we, we could, you know, we'll, we'll come out at least $60 a month. But the question we asked ourselves is how do we celebrate our customers, reward them for being part of this community? do we make an introductory offer? We're gonna come out and we're gonna charge for this, but we wanna make some kind of introductory offer for our customers. So we started brainstorming, you know, and I was with the sales team, the operations team, and the marketing team, and the success team. And we're like, okay, how do we make this work for our, for our customers? We wanna reward them for coming on. So do we give them 15% off? You know, 2020, 15% off just doesn't seem to cut it. <laughs> you know, so it's like, is it 25% off? It's like feeling a little bit better, introductory offer. You know, and then somebody said, I got a really crazy idea. We're going to do 50% off. 50% off for, for the scale plan where you can access this new feature called, uh, or the scale tier, and you can access this new feature called plan. They said 50%, you, you really don't see that in software. You don't see 50% off for kind of these new packages, these new tiers and things like that. Um, but you know what, what we ended up saying is like for customers that, that are with us, we're going to give them up to 80% off. Okay. So this is what it's going to look like. 
for customers only, if you're on a monthly plan, instead of hiking up $15 a month, which is what everybody else will pay, uh, if you're a customer, you can upgrade for $5 a month per user. Okay, and that's 65% off. You might say, hey, David, you just said 80%. Hold on. For if, you're, if, you, if you upgrade and you're currently on a yearly plan and you go into a, the scale yearly plan, we'll give that to you for essentially $3 a month per user. It's 80% off. So you will upgrade into this new tier. You're going to have access to plan for either 65% off or 80% off. Okay. Now, some questions that might come up. How long is this offer open? Well, for customers, we're keeping this open until the end of the year. Uh, we might get questions around, what's the future of scale? Well, we're going to continue to add premium features into scale throughout 2021, something we're, we're, we're digging into, we're going to be talking about and planning out here in the fourth quarter. Uh, but we're certainly going to be continuing to build out additional utility and features around team management or client experience in 2021. Now, what if I don't use it? I mean, plan looks really great, but you know, I'm demoing it. I'm not sure how it's going to look for my firm. What if I sign up for scale and six months from now, I don't like it. Okay, and we've never done this. So if anybody from our operations team is, is on here, they're gonna be like, yes, we have never done this. We're doing a one year, 365 day refund period for the scale upgrade. So let's say you go in and you increase $3 per user and it will be the difference between your, your, your base plan and organized and scale. So we'll refund you the scale difference. But if you upgrade into scale and eight months from now, you know, even with plan, and whatever else we added to this tier, you're like, you know what? I upgraded. I did the introductory offer. I still don't like it. It doesn't, it doesn't give me the utility I need that I thought I would get. And I can't justify the upgrade price. Great. We'll refund you the difference and you'll move back down to organize. Right. But you have one year refund period for scale. Uh, this is another question. What if I'm not a current customer? Right. If you sign up, you could still opt in to the scale beta until the end of the year. So we're giving it to you for 80% off. We're giving you a one-year um, uh, refund period, and you have till the end of the year to see if you even want to opt in for it. So here's a quick recap. Scale monthly, you can upgrade for $5 a month per user, 65% off. Scale yearly, 80% off. You can upgrade for $36 per user per year, or effectively $3 per month. I even saying that out loud sounds, sounds crazy, but we, again, we, we decided to go there. It's a one-year uh, discount and refund period. So you get the discount for one year, you get the refund period for one year. Because at the end of the day, if you opt into this thing and it doesn't serve your firm, it's not making you more successful, we don't want to keep your money. That's the way we look at it, plain and simple. So it's one year refund period. This uh, uh, pricing, this discount up to 80% off, that expires the end of this year. Uh, more features are going to be built out in 2021. Now, if you want to access this pricing, you know, the reason you can't see it in your account today is because we have to go in and apply a very custom coupon code for your account. And if you try to upgrade today, which by the way, you can, if you go into billing, you can upgrade today. It's just going to charge you the full price. Don't pay the full price. Go to jetpackworkflow.com slash beta. That's jetpackworkflow.com slash beta. You're going to see a form to fill out to then access plans. So we can apply that custom coupon. Uh, you'll have uh, the one-year access at this price. And again, you'll have the refund period of the next year. So if you ever go into scale and you downgrade to organize, we'll refund you that, that difference. So however many months you're paying $5 per user per month or $36 uh, per year. Uh, but we're really excited to start this journey building out scale. And we think plan is, is a huge foundational uh, view and work view that can help you elevate your firm. And we want to make this really special for our customer and our community. So again, eight, up to 80% off one year refund period. You just go to jetpackworkflow.com slash beta, jetpackworkflow.com slash beta. We're gonna ask you a couple questions. We'll go in and we'll apply that custom coupon code and get you 